down hard. Okay. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Hoo wee. All right, guys. Dude, I just came around this corner right here. Came around over to here. My tire completely slid out. Hey, shit! Right there on the street. Look at that, we've got a broken mirror, we've got scuffed up cement. Man. Oh, oh shit! Damn it went down hard. Bruh! Hoo wee! Okay. Oh that hurt. Alright guys, dude, I just came around this corner right here, came around over to here, my tire completely slid out. Hey, shit, right there on the street. Look at that, got a broken mirror, got scuffed up cement. Man, went down pretty damn good, that's for sure. Whoa! Sketchy, did you see that? Man, skip right out. So these tires leaned all the way over. We're definitely not getting the traction from the rubber compound on these that we've had from some of the other tires that we've ridden. Again, it's a harder rubber compound meant to last thousands and thousands and thousands of miles instead of being more eraser-like and super sticky on the road. That being said, the grip that I'm getting coming out of corners when the bike is sitting straight up is actually quite good. So about 15 minutes ago or so, I had a slight crash out there on Highway 18, came around the corner and uh, gave it some juice, and I high-sided this puppy. It's the first time I've high-sided, I think, in, I don't know, in a long time anyway. Oof. Right now, I'm a little bit dizzy at the moment. Probably slight concussion, definitely would not want to go to sleep right now, that's for sure. I say the force field armor suit that I'm wearing is legit. I have no feelings of any bumps or bruises on my person. My helmet has a nice gash in it when I went down, and I do definitely have, I imagine I have a concussion at the moment. And I feel a little bit fuzzy. That's how I feel a little bit later on in this little journey. on the highway these actually feel really good they're not really knobby they're not giving me any vibration they have a really nice feel to them now the only thing I'd have to say so far that I have not been impressed with is they tend to slide out a little bit more than some of the other tires that we've tested in the same genre of tire I mean it is a 50 50 tire so it's more aggressive for off-road than it is for street but I'm finding less confidence on the street with this tire than I have felt with some of the other tires with that same type of reading, if you will. What's up, guys? Look at this. It is absolutely spectacular out here. Air quality is amazing because that wind is blowing the smog right out of the sky. Look at these mountains. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal view. 
I don't think I captured a very good picture of my skid out spot here from earlier today. Let me go ahead and pull over there real quick. Man, that hurt. Watch out for this guy coming up the road. So I flipped around this corner right here, came up and it looks like my rear tire spun out in this gravel right here. Let's have a quick look at what this looks like down here now that we're off the bike. I know I'm not all panic and rushed to get picked up before I get run over. So I came down here, flipped a Yui. As I was coming around the Yui, take a look. I hit this stuff right here. Zip! And then the bike continued to slide out. Look at that. The back end goes completely sideways here. Now I ended up slamming down here on the ground. But the strange part is that side of the bike is the bike that got hit. So it's like it came to here and then flipped over high sided. I don't know. I'm going to go back and look at that. I'm going to have to go back and look at that footage. Kind of crazy. Pretty wild. <laughs> 